Hello everybody and welcome to another IELTS Racing 2 video. Before we start up the video, I hope you I hope you all had a great Christmas and a New Year's that's on its way. Um, so uh, today we've been asking for it for months now. It's finally in the game. We asked, they delivered, it's breeding. They enter the game now and it's a very exciting time in IELTS Racing. And um, it is really, really a great update. I just love it. Um, so firstly of all, before we also start off the video, another thing, I'm going to make two videos based on breeding. The first video that I'm doing today, this is video number one. This will be a basic breeding tutorial on how to get your, how to breed. It's just basically going to be nice and simple. And then video two, um, that's for all the advanced stuff, like how to get seven star horses. Is it possible? And by the way, it is possible. It's just very rare. But... Um, that part two or the video number two it's going to be way more advanced stuff video one is just going to show you how to do things but um, otherwise let's get into the video so the first thing questions really ask is um, when you go into your when you go into your ranch of course and um, where is the breeding farm the breeding farm is just uh, I'm just going to show you guys there with my, with my fingers at the moment and um, if you click on it it takes you to the breeding farm where you where you, of course, will be having your mares and your stallions. Once again, stallions with blue stars cannot be raced. They are breeding breeding horses, basically, and then they, they go immediately straight into the breeding farm. Um, <clears throat> then, of course, to move a... So that's very easy. So let's just say this is a cross wonder here. I can't go and race with it. The first thing I can do is I can just tap there. It's going to say send stallion to the breeding farm. And I'm going to say yes. And of course it will going to go. It's going to go and lay down there. And uh, it's easy as that. So now another question asked really is. How do I get my mares into the breeding into the breeding farm? They must first be raced. And um, what I have done from last time out is. You get a pink bar. Only with um, mares obviously. Um. Breeding maize, not all maize, only breeding maize. And um, for instance, Christmas time. Look at the, there's the pink bar, the breed bar. The, how do you earn it? It's basically through every race. So every time you race, it's going to increase a bit. If it wins, it's going to increase a bit more. Very nice and simple, easy. The next thing is, as you can see, it's a nice good form line. Hopefully that form line can carry on to the breeding. But for this video, I'm going to make it nice and short. I don't want the videos to be too long. I'm going to go with Scottsville horse. I will be sending to the breeding farm. It also um, really doesn't have good form. But as a six-star horse, almost a six-star horse, I fused him as well. And um, so I'll be sending this. As you can see now, after the pink bar is full, it doesn't have to be full. Um, but you can send it to the breeding farm, as you can see there. But I suggest you race it until it's full. So um, select Scottsville uh, for breeding. And uh, I said yes. So immediately it's not there anymore. So uh, we're going to go again to, uh, I don't know why I keep on pressing erasers. Do apologize. We're going to click on the breeding farm again. And there we go. Scottsville is right there. So I'm just going to get this lined up and I'll be back with you guys shortly. Okay, guys. I'm also going to read this to you. You can fuse recovery horses to the mare to fill up the breeding bar. When inside the breeding farm, any normal race horse that's with yellow stars, um, like Jet Lover, um, can become a recovery horse after winning a G1 or special race. Um, and then, of course, that special race is races of any series. Regular race horses with yellow stars, these can act as a recovery horse for stallions and mares. Must... Um, before you can do that, they must have at least one G1 uh, win, of course, um, to enable recovery function. Um, <clears throat> all right, with uh, win any race of the series to add 50% of their recovery rate, win any international to win f um, to add 40% to their recovery rate, win uh, any win a G1 race to add 20% of their recovery rate. Come and uh, yes, so that's it. So let's get to the breeding part now. This is quite easy. You're gonna do is you're going to click on the breeding tab. There's only button. This is the only button there. It's going to say select a stallion. So why I'm picking Fantastic Light is because Scottsville is also very good. It's a 1,600 meters. It's a turf. They both line up pretty good. And then Scottsville I'm going to select, of course. And there we go. So, of course, um, in video two, I will be talking more about uh, the the red 
blood drop. Um, I'll be talking a lot about that in the second one as well, and a, a lot about the type and the pedigree. But for now, this is simple. Like I said, it's video one. We're going to breed it. We're going to give it a name. And uh, so I'd just like to go through the names here. Um, let's make it... Uh, light... Light tails, nice and easy. But you're gonna select it. I'm gonna click it. It says, "All right, a new horse has been uh, a new horse is born and raised. It is sent to the stable for training immediately. It doesn't go lay at your at your ranch. It goes straight to the thing. And now we can see how good was the breed. As you can see, it was very poor. It was a four star horse, and it was not really the best choice to make. But like I said, this is just gonna be a video number one if you want to stay tuned for the video number two please um stay tuned to the facebook page on irish racing video two will be shortly out how to get better breedings and not just to breed this was a short intro of video number one um, explaining the basics stay tuned for video number two thank you all for joining thank you for all your support and see you at the track cheers bye, -bye.